Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this pop art pin up zombie. All you really need is a few face paints, so if you want to see how I've done this, just keep watching. First of all, I'm outlining where I want everything to go. I'm using an eyeliner pencil to do this, but it doesn't really matter what you use. It could be a lip pencil, eyeliner pencil, doesn't matter what colour either, because eventually we're going to go over this with black face paint. The lines that I've just drawn are basically going to be the divide between the top set of teeth and the bottom teeth. I've only drawn the lines in certain areas and the outline that I'm drawing round about these is basically where it's going to look like the mouth's open. You can make these all different shapes and sizes, just try not to make them too similar or it will take away from the zombie effect. And now I'm just drawing on the other details. So on the forehead I'm just creating a big pop art shape, just like that, just using a few curves and just attaching them. It doesn't have to be specific, it can be as big or as small as you want. This is where the brain's going to show and then I'm just doing a smaller one just at the side and I plan to put some stitches there going across. And now I'm just drawing the outline of where I want the teardrops to go. I'm doing two on this side and one on the other. You can do as many or as little as you like. Um, I just didn't want them to be too symmetrical. And then I'm outlining the eyebrows. Just leave them like that and not filled in. I'm going to fill them in with a colour later on. Then taking a blue or green face paint on a foundation brush, I'm basically going to fill all around about the areas that I've just drawn. It's basically like colouring in, so just don't go within the lines instead of outside the lines. So once that's done, I'm then taking a bright pink face paint and I'm going to fill in the shape that I've drawn on the forehead like this. And also fill in the eyebrows with that pink colour as well. Then going back in with the green or blue face paint on a smaller brush, I'm then going to go in round the edges that I couldn't get at with the foundation brush. And then I'm taking that pink face paint again and I'm filling outside the teeth so this is where the gums would be. And then I'm taking a white face paint and what I'm going to do now is fill in all the teeth. The face paints that I'm using are by Snazaru, so they're just simple Halloween store face paints. They're not anything special necessarily. They're still good though and they work. Then I'm taking the white face paint again and I'm filling in the eye area. And the same again with the tears. Then I'm filling in the gaps between the teeth and the gums right here and then I'm going to start outlining all of the black pencil that I used at the very start. And here is where I'm going to start drawing in the brain with some black face paint on a really small fine brush.
you're better to use a photo for reference, that's what I did, I just googled uh, cartoon rings or something like that. And taking a yellow face paint or any other colour, just fill in that shape that we drew on the side of the face. Then I'm outlining that shape and I'm going to draw some stitches going across with the black face paint. Then I'm taking a lighter pink face paint and I'm filling in the brain again. This is just going to give it some three dimension. Okay, so after this my camera cut out, I'm so sorry about this, but basically what I've done then is I've taken the black face paint again and I've gone round everything I've already drawn and added some outline details. I've done this round about the teardrops, round about the brain. I've also outlined the nose to give it that pop art effect. I've added some lashes to the top outer corners of the eyes and I've gone round the mouth area as well. Now I'm drawing diagonal lines to form the cheekbones and instead of the usual way you would contour I'm just drawing downward strokes with the black face paint and this is going to create some shadow but it's going to give that painted effect that pop art paintings tend to have. And then I did the same with the temples of the forehead and I also outlined the entire face. I added some red lipstick to the part of the lips that are exposed and I outlined this with the black face paint to give it that cartoon like effect. And that's the final look guys. The lashes that I'm wearing are by Kagemak Studio and the style is Melissa. This is a really fun and easy look to do. It's also great if you're looking for something last minute. I'll leave all the products and stuff that I use down in the description box below. I really hope you enjoyed this look guys, remember if you did give it a thumbs up and comment below on what you think I should do next. You can also follow me on Instagram at Schlemonade and I'll see you in the next video.